All right, in this tutorial, we're going to show you how to customize your receipt. This is all set up in Square. So first, you're going to go to Square.com. You're going to log into your account. Go to Account Settings. Go to Business and select the Receipt. Let's start by dragging our logos. We're we'll going to start by dragging the digital logo and our printed logo, which is the printed logo that you're going to give to your customer. For a digital copy, you want to select a banner color that looks fine with your, with your logo. All right, let's go down. Yep, let's go to receipt there. So we're going to add our address here. Of course, here you're going to put your business address. I just put a random address for demo purposes. Let's fill everything up there, city. And your zip code. All right, it's looking good so far. Now we're going to go down and put our contact information. So here you're going to put our phone number. And of course, our social media links. All right. Once you set up all the social media, and you send out a digital copy of your receipt to your customer, they're going to be able to click those icons and actually go to your page. So that's a cool feature there. And uh, you know, on your receipt, your printable receipt, your customer will be able to view the, the at repair spots or at your business name. So here you're seeing your icons. Let's go down. All right, custom text. This is very really cool. Here you could write a greeting, so if you want to say just thanks for passing by, for example, it's right there. There's another cool stuff you could add there. Alright, so looks cool. So let's add our terms and conditions there. It makes more sense. Alright, terms and conditions. So here you're going to copy your store's terms and conditions. We're just going to set random value here for you guys can have an idea how it's going to look on your receipt all right all right looks cool terms and conditions and return policy so are you going to set up your return policy for example, accessories, you know, you have a certain amount of time to return them or they need to be in box. Well, you want to put that information here. As I mentioned before, this is for the receipt that you print out in store or you send digital. For paired spots, it has its own terms and conditions where you have to set up. Those terms and conditions are for regular, you know, when you create a receipt. Or when you create a repair, you're going to be able to view them, but you're going to have to set up your receipt terms and conditions this way. All right, so here we're going to show you the map or hide the map. And it's safe. All right, so here I put my Instagram uh, link and my Facebook link. You have to put just the name, so it would be repair spots in both cases instead of the URL. All right, so now we're going to go to step number two, which is set the store terms and conditions, but this time in repair spots. So we're going to go to our more tab and select terms and conditions. Here we had already added some terms and conditions. In this case, we're just editing it. So we're just adding some more stuff to it. But by default, you're just going to receive a, a line of a text here. So you're going to edit that and put your own terms and conditions. If you already have one, you just paste it in here and you would just save it. It's always important to keep this up to date because every time you submit a repair or you do a sale, it's going to save the current terms and conditions. So you want to keep it up to date if you make any changes, of course. So let's go and save it. And we're going to go back. Let's just open it again, see if it's saved. Perfect. It's there. All right. It's that easy. Thanks for watching. 
If you have any questions, feel free to contact us at info at repairspots.com and we'll reach out to you as soon as possible. We also have an Instagram page and a Facebook page. Just search us by Repair Spots. All right. Thanks for everything.